Compost tea, compost extract, they may look the same, but they have a totally different impact in your garden. Extract is quick and easy, perfect as a gentle soil drench that delivers soluble nutrients and a light dose of biology. Compost tea takes time to brew, but it's a powerhouse, alive with beneficial microbes that protect your plants from pests and boost the soil life. Think of compost extract like a broth. You're pulling nutrients from the compost into the water. It's great for immediate soil feeding, especially for young or stressed plants. Compost tea is more like a fermented brew. You're multiplying beneficial microbes that can be sprayed on leaves or soil to boost immunity and overall health. It's biology in a bucket, baby. Both are garden gold, and today I'll show you how to make each one step-by-step step so you can start feeding your garden smarter. Let's start with compost extract. It's fast, easy, and gentle. Our first step is to fill a five gallon bucket full of water. So now I've got some good news, bad news for you. The bad news is if you're using tap water, your water is full of chlorine and chloramine. Chlorine will gas off, so that's not really a problem. Chloramine does not, and that could still kill the microbiology in your compost. The good news is humic acid neutralizes both chlorine and chloramine. So what we'll do is just take a teaspoon of humic acid and stir it into the five gallon bucket of water. That's all it takes. You want to make sure that it's liquid humic acid because there are some dry humic acids out there that are not water soluble. So I like to use the liquid stuff just to make sure that it is soluble. Next, take one pound of compost. We like to use worm compost, especially the ones from uh, Sunnyside Soil, and you'll put it into a mesh bag. I like to use a brew bag, but you could also use a paint strainer bag. Gently dunk the compost in and out of the water while gently squeezing for about a minute. This releases all of the soluble nutrients and the microbes. And that's it. You've got yourself a fabulous soil drench. It's like a nutrient boost for your soil. Now, compost tea takes a little bit more effort, but it gives you a living liquid full of microbial life. Think of it like a probiotic drink for your garden. Step one, just like with the extract, we're gonna fill a five gallon bucket full of water. And then we're gonna add the humic acid, but this time we're gonna do one tablespoon to not only neutralize the chloramine, but to also give food for the fungal hyphae that's in the compost. At this point, we're basically going to be making an extract. We'll be putting uh, one pound of compost into a mesh bag. And for one minute, we'll dunk gently while squeezing. Let's put this over to the side. And this is where the extra steps come in. Now we're going to add the microbial food. So we're going to add one tablespoon of fish hydrolysate. This is the stinkiest part of the process. And one tablespoon of liquid kelp. I like to use the liquid so that I make sure that it is water soluble. Obviously, since it's liquid, it's already water soluble because there are some dry kelps out there that are not water soluble. So this just makes sure that I've got the soluble version. And don't worry, I'll link all the ingredients to the compost tea down in the description. Now, some people might tell you to put molasses into your tea. Molasses is a bacterial food, and we found that our compost is already full of bacteria. So it's not really necessary. And we concentrate on a more rounded microbial brew. Now we're going to take your compost bag and suspend it into the water. You want to make sure that it's not touching any of the walls or the bottom of the bucket because that could create anaerobic conditions. So I'm just going to put a spring clip 
and wrap it around a PVC pipe and suspend it that way. Next, it's time to aerate our tee. So I'm gonna drop in the air hoses. You'll notice that I've attached it with zip ties to the end of this PVC pipe. That's just to weigh down the hoses, otherwise they'll float to the top and not do their job. Let it aerate for 24 hours. The air keeps the microbes thriving and multiplying. Now, I really like this pump. It's made for a large aquarium. I'll leave a link in the description below. But I like it because it seems to be the right amount of air, but also it's got these valves that I can control how much air is going in and out. Now, some people will tell you to put air stones at the end of these hoses. That's a terrible idea. Basically, after a few tea brews, the inside of those stones get chock full of anaerobic critters, and that could lead to pathogens. These open hoses, like I put in here, are perfect to dislodge any microbes that are in the bag. And with the open hoses, you could adjust the flow so that it's basically a rolling boil inside of the bucket. That's it, after 24 hours, you'll have a pretty good tea. Now, you'll use your compost tea as a foliar spray. You'll spray it right on the leaf to help outcompete disease and boost plant immunity. Personally, I like to use tea to deter Japanese beetles on my grapevines. So to reiterate, compost extract is quick, easy, and great for root feeding. Compost tea takes a little time, but delivers active biology your plants will love. Try them both and see what works best for you. And if you need a high quality worm compost to get started, we've got the good stuff here at SunnysideSoil.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more garden tips.